But the people in the Tohoku region never lost hope or the capacity to inspire and be inspired by others, all of you here tonight. So I'd like to share with you an excerpt of a letter from a young woman, a student named Ayaka. And I was very privileged to meet her about a month ago when I was in Tohoku and in Sendai through the Japan American Leadership Delegation. Now this young woman lost everything. And when I say everything, what I mean by that is she lost her entire family. Lost her entire family. And like many others who lost their loved ones, she was utterly devastated. And after several visits with Ambassador John Roos, the U.S. Ambassador to Japan, she had enough courage to write the following, which I would like to read to you, an excerpt of what she wrote. So in quotes, on March 11, my life changed totally. I lost my home and whole family. Father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, sister. At first, I didn't know how to deal with this situation. My heart and soul were gone somewhere. I couldn't do anything. Now, I have a dream. After I graduate from high school next March, I will start working in Tokyo and save money to go to the U.S. I will learn English. I will go to school. Now I have a dream because you gave me that opportunity and I want to say thank you. And the you is Ambassador Bruce. So last month, Ayaka came to the United States. She went to Boston and she gave a long speech at Brown University. She's currently applying to boarding school in Michigan to study English intensively for one year so she can speak to all of you directly. And I met this young woman. She is so profoundly positive about life. She wants to pursue her dream as a fashion designer. She smiles a lot today and she scribbled in her note, and I quote again, I think many people are watching me try to work hard towards my dreams. And all we can say is, we hope all our dreams come true. And so as we watch Ayaka's journey, just as we admire the cherry blossoms and the 100 year anniversary, you know, I point out something to you. And it, it is really this logo here. The word is tomodachin, and for those of you who've never heard the word before, it means friend, it's about friendship. But I want you to pay attention to the logo and look at the letter M. If you look at it closely, it is the blending between Japan and the United States. It is an M for a miracle because a lot of miracles took place for those who survived. And it's about the handshake between Japan and the U.S. in friendship, a celebration. So like the gift of the cherry trees 100 years ago, Tomodachi is about planting. And it's with all of you here in this room tonight. We're planting the seeds of hope an opportunity for the next generation of the people of our two countries, the so-called Tomodachi generation. So we invite all of you to become part of Tomodachi Japan. <laughs>